Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but nonetheless, let's get to it. Portfolio update again. Here we go. Before we start, guys, the reason why I haven't uploaded is I've been busy with other things. Um, I am gonna try to upload at least once a week in this on this channel. I really do want to maintain it and keep taking out investing video for you guys. So let's see if I can keep on that promise. All right. So the first portfolio is gonna be my stock uh, dividend income portfolio. At the moment, it's at eight thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars. As you can see, on the day, we're down sixty-four dollars. On the weekly, we're down 296. For some reason, the monthly doesn't load. And then three months, we're down 1,380. Year to day, 500. One year, 199. And overall, we're down $1,777. Now, next up is my Fidelity um, Roth IRA. Basically, on this account, I just put $100 and it automatically buys a S&P 500 ETF, uh, an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. As you can see, it's currently at 4,254. But if you look here on the right hand side, right, let me move the camera out of the way. There we go. You know how they say, like, if you invest $100 a month, when you turn 65, you'll be able to retire. Yeah, well, according to Fidelity, if I do retire, I'm going to have about $18,000, $1,800 a month. And I'm going to need about $3,300. So somebody's got some explanation to do. I don't know how they did that math. But yeah, man, I mean, it's part of investing, you know. Um, if you don't do it, you'll never get returns. And if you do, you might lose all your money. So it is what it is. That's why I typically... Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you can manage to invest at least five to 10% of your monthly income into a Roth IRA or any stock account, I recommend that you do. Again, you gotta do your own due diligence and make your own decisions. But let's say if it doesn't work and I lose everything, I was prepared to lose all of that. I was willing to lose all that money risking it for the reward that was gonna get it in the future. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, yeah, it's only $1,800 a month plus your social security and all, all that good stuff. So, I mean, it adds up eventually. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my M1, M1 finance portfolio. This one is just strictly ETFs. On the Robinhood one, I actually choose the stocks that I want to invest in. So for this one, I only have four ETFs. I have uh, VYM, which is Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. We have SGHD, which is um, a dividend equity ETF. And then we have Vanguard, which is, um, it tracks the total market, right? Not just the 500 companies in the S&P, but I think it has, this ETF has about like 3000 companies, companies in it. And they're actually managed by the biggest hedge funds in the world, which is Vanguard. So, I mean, I don't have to do anything. Just put the money, hopefully it goes up in the future. As you can see, uh, the portfolio is at $1,500. Uh, we have currently lost $63 in appreciation, which is about 4%. However, we have made about $22 so far in the year. And the last ETF is the ProShares uh, S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF. Now, if we take a look at the uh, on my, my dividends, you can see here the total value. This is the Robinhood, Fidelity, and M1 Finance combined. I have to edit this because I did sell some stocks uh, here and there, but it's almost exactly the same. The annual income doesn't change much. On the contrary, I think it's actually going to be more because I took out some stocks that didn't pay dividend and I added then some. Oh, actually, I have to take out my acorns, but uh, as you can see here, it's just 27, so we can subtract that and then on the summary i have about a 3.27 dividend yield which is good i'm trying to aim above three percent um it's kind of difficult to try to maintain it with good companies but i mean it's, it's not impossible and then in annual income we have about 522 dollars which when you divide that a month it's around what like 30 60 bucks something like that so i mean it's not awful i get to pay my netflix with dividend income and then in the future hopefully the account grows and so does the dividends um one company that i do want to grow is my bank of america stock which is now at like 26 bucks or something like that as you can see my average cost is at 31. so i want to buy more shares to be able to bring down that average cost and yeah also guys i have an idea to create a new portfolio uh in m1 finance like a like a new pie sort of like this one and what i want to do is get 10 companies it doesn't matter the price that it is now doesn't matter what we think is going to happen in the future or anything. I want to get 10 of the, the top 10 companies with the biggest market cap in the S&P 500. I want to invest $100 every single month into that account. And I want to compare it to the ETF portfolio, to my dividend portfolio. And I want to see what grows the best and what doesn't. Because, for example, I am not invested in Apple and I want to invest in Apple. The reason why I haven't done so is because I think it's just the price of the stock is extremely expensive. So that's where I don't want to invest in it. However, in this challenge that I want to do, I am going to buy Apple because it's the top company right now in market cap in the S&P 500. So I want to test the theory of just invest a certain amount of every single month and then eventually you'll make a return. Obviously, it's a long term play. So I want to see that maybe in five years, hopefully is what I'm aiming for. If I could have at least 100, share, 100 shares of each stock that I'm going to have in that portfolio. 
uh so yeah guys this was quite a short video just to give a little update on what's going on um i do plan on, on uploading more i said that last video i didn't get myself to do it so i really want to do it this time um the camera i can't put it on the big screen because freaking Streamlabs doesn't let me edit it with like a small camera and then like a big one i don't know why it's not working i have to figure out how to do it i tried doing it with my phone but when i talk and the video the lips just doesn't sync so it's just gonna be awful regardless um but yeah guys a short little video here to give you guys an update on my portfolio and how it's going if you enjoy this type of video please let me know in the comments below um if you're excited for me to keep uploading more please also let me know in the comments below that way i know get a little bit of motivation know that you guys are waiting for the next video and also if i'm talking fast let me know too man i'm, I'm from cuba so we speak spanish we freaking uh, i speak hella quick so sometimes it might be hard for you guys to understand and yeah guys nonetheless it is what it is if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like and subscribing and i appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next video Thank you.